guys so I'm back and today I'm going to show you how I created this DIY tray it's um it could be a perfume tray a jewelry tray I'm actually going to be using this as a perfume tray and this is actually going to be my one of my Mother's Day gifts for my mom and I'm posting this after Mother's Day because I don't want her to see this so I'm going to show you how to make it and I did do it inside but I do not recommend that at all. It was not fun to breathe in all those fumes and it's so bad for you. My window's open, my door just opened by itself. That was creepy. But I recommend you do this outside. I kind of wish I did because now my whole room smells like spray paint and it's just not fun to walk in and breathe it. That's why my room, my, whew, that's why my window is open. <laughs> but I think it's really cool. It's like different and it's not that hard at all. All you need to buy is just a frame and spray paint that's literally all I bought and I spent like probably like twenty dollars on all of it and that's it and you just need a spray bottle with some vinegar honestly you can just drop vinegar droplets with your hand with the spoon whatever you want you don't even need a spray bottle it's just easier and I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys enjoy and if you do recreate this please take pictures and tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see all your different different re recreations <laughs> wow it's been a long day and I do have a paper on the inside of this. You'll see that all in the video. You can do any color you want. You can do any color frame. So if you want, you can do black frame with a pink piece of paper inside. That would be so cute. Honestly, anything. I just wanted to do this because you could kind of see the spots better. So, see, it looks like a mirror now. You can see me in there. <laughs> and it's really cool. This was just a plain piece of glass, and now it looks like a mirror. So I think that's awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to stick around to see how I got this cool DIY perfume tray, and just keep watching, and I hope this is one of many DIYs that I have for you guys, and if you have any ideas of what you guys want to see, please leave a comment down below, because I love, love, love doing DIYs. I have so many things around my room that are DIYs, and I promise I have a room tour coming up for you. I know a lot of you guys requested it. So I have it coming up for you. It's just I filmed one and it was just not good. The camera was so shaky and it just didn't look good. <laughs> so I will have one coming up soon. You'll see my room and what's in it. So don't forget to leave a comment down below of what you guys want to see and what other DIYs you have in mind that you'd like me to do. And leave a comment down below if you tried this and if you like it. And don't forget to tag me in your Instagram pictures of this try. And that's it. So stick around to see if you stick around to see if you want to get this look. What? See, I do too many makeup looks, that's why I say that. <laughs> so stick around if you want to see how I got this DIY perfume tray. Bye, guys. Okay, so I just have any kind of frame. I just got this at a store near me. You can get them at Michael's, or I just picked this up at Amazing Savings. And I really like how it, like, picks up on the corners, so, like, on the edges. So it looks more like it would be a tray. So the first thing we're going to do is open the back and pull out the glass so we don't need the frame for now so I'm going to put that aside and I just have a garbage bag on my table just to keep it protected because we're going to be working with vinegar and um what do you call it spray paint so what I actually did is I just put um a piece of cardboard on the bottom of the glass so it's easier to pick up like that instead of getting our hands dirty and touching it so the first thing we're going to do is I just have a little spray bottle with some vinegar in it and just regular plain vinegar would do. So I'm going to mist it and this is what creates those different little splotches and some dimension through the glass and it's going to look really cool. Now we're going to spray it with a thin coat of the glass spray and I just have this spray it's a mirror effect spray paint so make sure to shake it really well okay so all I did was just spray it a few more times and between each coat I let it dry again so also once it's fully dry if you don't like the spotchiness you can just wipe off the vinegar and spray on the mirror paint all over it 
Or if you want some more splotchiness like I did, I just took the spray bottle and just sprayed it all over just randomly in areas and I just let it dry. So now I'm just going to wipe off some of the vinegar and I'm going to go in one last time with the, with the spray paint and that's it. I'm just going to wipe off the vinegar now. I'm just patting it on because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do is pick up the glass and take our frame back again. And now, I don't know which one I want to do yet, but I'm going to try both ways. Take a sheet of paper. This one is black. And... We can see either you want black on the bottom or I'm thinking I might do a cream on the bottom. So I'm going to cut the sheet to be the size of the mirror and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is flip the frame over, open it up, and I cut the sheet of paper to the size of the mirror. So what we're going to do is... We're going to put the mirror side, the one where we spray painted, on the outside, so facing down away from you. And then we're going to put the sheet of paper with the colored side down. So everything that you want to be outside should be facing down as of now. Then we're going to open this up and we're going to place the glass in and then the sheet of paper. And now we're going to close it up. And that's what it should look like. 